Hello everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And today we have an hour together for chair yoga. So thank you for joining me. I know you could be doing a million other things. So I appreciate the time that you're taking, not only to follow along as much or as little as feels good for you, but also for just taking the time for yourself. Everything I guide you through is exactly that, guidance. You don't need to listen to me. Something doesn't feel right to you. There's no need to do it. And if there's something else that comes up that naturally arises in your body, a movement that you would like to explore, then go ahead and do that. Give yourself permission right now to follow as much or as little as you like, adjust and adapt everything to work for you today with your body, not against it. And with that said, make sure that your chair is comfortable and stable and you put a whole lot of space around you. Deciding for yourself whether you want to sit into the back of your chair for support or if you want to sit forward. There's no right or wrong here and it's just about playing around and seeing what feels right in this moment. Feet are connected down to the support underneath you. Whether you're wearing shoes, socks, slippers, um, doesn't matter at all. If, but we're gonna spread the toes or imagine spreading the toes as wide as you possibly can. And then connecting downwards to the soles of your feet. And you can even um, flex your toes if you like, just to awaken that connection downwards. A great way to start off is to soften your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes. And then take all of your awareness down into the soles of your feet. Noticing everything that arises. Again, there's no right and wrong. We'll all experience the soles of our feet completely differently. Notice the places that you're connected to downwards. So maybe the pads of your toes, maybe the ball of your foot, maybe the heels, or a little bit of everything. Also notice the places that you're not connected. Maybe the arch of your foot or the creases in between the toes and the ball of the foot. Imagine that you could root your feet downwards a little more and you can even press down a little further into the earth to increase that sensation of connection. Adjust your foot or feet in any way that means that you're more connected. So play, play around with pushing down into your heels, the balls of your foot, the inside or outside edge of the foot and see what feels more connected to you. Again, no right and wrong, we're all just playing around with this moment. You can even imagine, if you like, a cold light or thread drawing from the soles of your feet downwards into the support underneath you and ultimately down into the earth. Imagine that going as deep as you can imagine, all the way down. Feel that support underneath you of the earth, always there. And then if there's any tension in the soles of your feet or your feet in general, allow that to release. Nothing to do here, just noticing. And then from there, drawing your awareness from the soles of your feet up to your seat where you are connected down to the chair. Notice that support underneath you once again of your seat. Notice the texture, the firmness. And then allow your body to rest into that support. So notice we tend to, um, especially around the corset area of our lower abdominals, we tend to be holding tension there. So imagine you could just let that go and actually be held by the chair and by the support underneath your feet. 
So there's this groundedness to our lower body. From there, lifting up through the spine, as if from the crown of your head, somebody were picking you up with a puppet string from the very tip of your head up towards the sky. And notice how that feels, that rooting down in the lower body, that lifting, that lightness through the upper body. It doesn't have to shift your posture, but just notice what that feels like, as if you've got space in between each vertebrae. Allow the shoulders to soften away from the ears. And widen through the collarbones a little. And then if you haven't already, soften or lower your gaze or close your eyes. And take a big breath in, all the way to the top of your breath, whatever that means for you. And exhale that out slow and long. And take another few breaths like that. And imagine as if you had on heavy coats on your shoulders with all the concerns and worries you have, all the to-do lists, all the things that need to get done, the concerns of the past, of the future. Imagine with every exhale, one more heavy coat falls away from your shoulders, leaving all those concerns, worries, to be picked up if needed at the end of class. As we start to shed everything, as the breath starts to settle, we start to come into this moment. And of course, the things from the past, things from the future, memories or um, thoughts will come up. The practice of mindfulness or awareness, which is yoga, is noticing we're drifting off here, there, and everywhere. And then with compassion and kindness for ourselves, just gathering ourselves back to this moment. Notice how you're feeling. Be honest with yourself. Your energy levels, simply the emotions that are present. And again, maybe things come up, images, colors, thoughts, memories, allow it all to be. And then notice how your physical body is feeling. You might wanna start all the way down at your feet and rise your awareness slowly up through your body or start at the crown of your head and drift your awareness downwards. Noticing places of tightness, of tension, of discomfort. But then also notice the places that feel quite neutral. The places that feel comfortable, even strong. No matter how small those places are, we get a balance between everything. Especially when we're in discomfort, well, there's lots of tension in our body, we tend to focus on that. But also take the time to notice the places without the tension. If there is tightness and tension and discomfort, is there anything you can offer yourself in this moment to release that? Maybe some soft movements, intuitive movements, maybe some steady breaths, maybe adjusting your posture, using that support of the chair behind you, what is it you can offer yourself for this to feel even 1% better? And then in your own time, we start to turn our awareness inwards to the breath, just as it is, the inhale and the exhale. If it's comfortable for you today, breathing in and out through the nose, steady and smooth. Maybe slowing down the breath feels good for you, and maybe not. If 
There are places in the breath that feel jumpy or jagged. Do your best to find a little more ease there. Okay, we're not looking for perfect. breath is the super highway into the central nervous system. When we study the breath, the central nervous system starts to self-regulate. As the central nervous system starts to regulate, the stress response reduces, we get a deeper connection in with our body, and we can feel into the subtleties. Start to listen to the sound of your breath coming in and out. Noticing the sound between the inhale and the exhale slightly different from each other. And I'm going to offer you the mantra if you would like to of so on the inhale, S O, and hum on the exhale. H U M hum. So hum. Saying it silently to yourself as you blend it with the sound of the breath coming in and out. So hum. It's said to be the sound of the breath itself. And if this doesn't work for you, no big deal. But otherwise, we will be using that so hum breath as a way of coming back to this moment within the movement. So hum, get comfortable and familiar with the sounds, not only the mantra, but the sound as it blends with your breath. Rooting down feet in seat, that connection downwards to then rebound up through the spine as we lengthen. Once again, shoulders soft, collarbones wide, so hum. On the inhale, drifting the chin up, so. On the exhale, hum as the, chin, as the chin drifts down. Allow the mantra, the length and cadence of the breath to guide the movement. It doesn't have to be big. Be gentle with yourself, so hum. Noticing sensations as they arise, noticing if there's anything you can do to adjust and adapt the movement to feel better for you. Another three, so hum to the rhythm of your breath, no need to match anybody else's, you can always rest whenever you need to. Coming back to center after your last exhale, the last hum. This is the inhale, so. And on the hum, we'll take it to one side. So back to center and looking over towards the opposite side. Allow the movement to be luxurious, to be almost lazy, noticing how this feels in your body, where you feel it, through the neck, the shoulders, the throat, upper back, chest. And you can take the gaze as far as feels comfortable to one side or the other, maybe even back over those shoulders. Notice One more either side. Coming back to center. Allowing that right hand to dangle down. And any movement you need in the shoulder to ease it up, go ahead. Turning the palm up from the elbow, bending, inhale, exhaling that palm down. Sound of the breath, the cadence of your breath is guiding the movement. Option to stay here, option to start to move from the shoulder. Easy joints, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs. And again, more is not better. Simply working within how your body responds to the movement today. 
the option with that left hand to support you is taking the right hand up, maybe even overhead as we start to tilt towards the left. If this is not for you, then keep it easy. You can start to reach through those fingers and joints a little more so the arm gets a little longer. And we start to get maybe a little bit more length through that right side. And if that is not something that feels good for you, then no big deal. So, um, and again, that left hand can support you on your chair as you need. Three more. So, um, rest if you need to. My nervous system likes it when we move in rhythm to our breath. Again, it's that settling down of everything. Right hand comes back to support. Left hand dangles. Any softness, any um, adjustments you need to make in your shoulder to release any tension, go ahead. Left palm turns up from the elbow. So, um, Allowing the movement to be what it will be. Honoring how your body feels today. Starting to move from the shoulder if that feels comfy for you. Our bodies definitely like it when we ease into movement. They feel safe. And they feel like if we add on gently, then we have more awareness to the sensations in our body, that language of the body that's telling you. The option is to take that left hand overhead. So hung on the breath. Reaching through the fingertips if you want to, or keeping soft joints. Again, no right and wrong here, play around. Another three. Notice the challenging parts. Notice the places that feel simple and easy for you. So, um, then on that last exhale, we'll take the hands all the way down, back to support. Rooting to rise. On the inhale, drawing the heels of the hands back. Elbows come back, shoulder blades come towards each other, opening up through the front of the heart, extension through the spine. Exhale, fingertips come towards or on the knees as we curl back, rounding through the spine, seated cat and cow. Inhaling and exhaling. Moving primarily through the upper body and the shoulders to start with. And this is going to feel different for each of us. We're all put together differently. We all experience this differently. So, um, notice if you can adjust things. Adding on into the cervical spine, inhaling, lifting the chin, exhaling, drawing it down. If you want to add on down further through the spine, imagine on the inhale and kind of hooking your um, sternum forward so the front ribs come out, we get more extension through the spine. On the exhale, belly button comes towards the spine and maybe dips into the support of the chair behind you. Inhaling and exhaling. The last piece of this is the pelvic tilts. Inhaling, sending your tailbone out behind you, getting into the lower spine. And on the exhale, we're curling over, tucking the tailbone, and maybe even sitting over onto the back of the pelvis somewhat. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to add on, we're gonna add those arms coming into a cactus, elbows and the backs of the hands coming back spread through the fingertips and the thumbs if you want to. Elbows can be up or down, no big deal. On the exhale, pinky fingers and elbows come towards each other as we curl in, inhaling and exhaling. If the arms take away from the focus on the spinal movement, then come back to arms or hands resting down on support. 
fill up on the inhale as if you're filling your entire lungs with breath so and hum as you curl adjusting and adapting the movement for your body playing with what feels good for you today another three rest if you need to do every other one your choice so hum more or less one more to go Mm -hmm. Coming all the way back up and adjusting. Rearranging yourself in your seat if you feel like that's necessary. Rooting down, feet in seat to rise up. So hum with the breath. From here, taking the hands out in front of you as if you're trying to stop me from talking. This is the inhale, back to center, rolling the shoulders, collarbones wide. This is the inhale, turning to the left side. On the exhale, we're gonna push those hands over towards the left, inhaling back to center and exhaling, pushing. Elbows do not have to come anywhere near straight. If you want to adjust the movement so the hands are coming more towards the front left because that feels more comfortable in your body, then go ahead. You can take the gaze with you or even over that left shoulder. Notice what's happening in your lower body, keeping that steady and stable. So hum. Imagine that you're pushing something heavy through water as you twist towards the left. Another three. If you're feeling sensations in your body, notice what they're telling you. Do you need to do less? Can you rest? Do you have space to move deeper? Next inhale, we're coming back to center and you can release those arms. Any kind of movement that you need, go ahead. Coming back to center. This is the inhale, rooting to rise on the exhale, sending those palms towards the right, inhaling to center and over towards the right. You can take the gaze with you, even over that right shoulder, keeping that range of motion that feels good for you. And again, you can adjust this so the hands come towards the front right if that feels more comfortable in your body. You can soften or deepen the twist as you feel is right for you. And again, play with it. What feels more comfortable in this moment for you. Another three to go. Rest if you need to. Be gentle with yourself. Listen to what it is that you need. Then on the exhale, we're taking those hands down. Any movement you need, go ahead. And from here, we're gonna take those hands and cross them over our chest, rooting to rise. This is the inhale. On the exhale, what we're gonna do is tip over towards the right. Now we've already been here when we um, drew our arms up as they came overhead. That's the exhale. So hum. So coming back to center, hum over to the side. Taking momentum out of the movement. So it's not a very big movement, getting into the lateral spine. Noticing if drawing your shoulders more forward or back so they're, um, and notice where they are in conjunction with your hips, whether they're resting over the top whether your head is forward or you draw your chin in a little, as if you're sliding along a wall behind you. So the back of your pelvis, shoulder blades, and the back of your skull sliding along that imaginary wall. Now, the further you go, obviously, the more strength you need through the lower abdominals and the core, or what we discuss, or what we... Um, use the word the core for, which is the strength through the center of the body. 
and less is definitely more here. So if you're finding yourself over to the side that you're kind of collapsing, notice how it feels to rise through the crown of your head as you're moving. And so there's length there. Nice, we're gonna come back to center, one more either side. So hum. All the way back up to center, nice. Taking the hands down and when you're ready, we're gonna take those feet a little bit wider. Now this is gonna be different for each of us. So on one side can be very different from another. Maybe you like a lot of support, so you're gonna sit all the way back into your chair. Maybe you need less support, so you're gonna sit forward. Just play with the posture that feels right for you, knowing you can always change and adjust it. Toes are facing more or less in the same direction as your knees. We're gonna use all of that awareness we've built up through the spine. And then from here, left hand is supporting you. We're gonna put all those together a little bit. So, rooting to rise, feet in seat, rooting. Rising through the spine, through the crown of the head. So hum breath, which brings us back to this moment, blending the sound of the mantra with the sound of your breath. And working always movement within the breath. This is the inhale and the exhale. I'm gonna tip over to the left, inhaling back to center. You can use that left hand for support. Nice. Option to stay here. Send the right arm out. Any angle that suits you, turn the palm up. On the inhale, Fingertips come up, back to center. So hum. And then the option is to allow that arm to come overhead, supporting yourself with that left arm. So hum. Working within the breath. Option to stay here, especially if you would like the support of that left hand on the thigh. Option to hover the hand and notice if you need it. And this may mean adjusting the size of the movement if you want to add on. If the hand is hovering, we're going to send the arm in the opposite direction, coming all the way back up to center. Mm -hmm. Reaching either side with the fingertips. And the crown of the head is still lengthening. Find your breath, your cadence, your so hum within that. Notice what your body is telling you. You've got another two to go. Last one, all the way back to center. Any movement you need to adjust, go ahead, rooting down to rise. So, um, notice what you feel, how your body is. If there's anything you need to take extra care of, go to the other side. Left hand is reaching towards the knee, right hand is supporting you, and then we're tilting off towards one side. Noticing how this feels. Again, imagining you're sliding along the wall, back of your head, shoulder blades, back of your pelvis, and then within that, play with adjusting that to what feels right for you. Option to stay here or turn that left palm up. Inhaling and exhaling. And this may be where you stay. Easy joints. Staying with the flow of the breath or starting to move from the shoulder. 
And obviously the higher up that arm comes or even overhead, then the more work you have to do through the center line of your body. That right hand can support you. And so you get to decide, there's no right and wrong here. It's just what feels right to you. So hum, working within that realm of your breath. Option is to hover that right hand. And if that feels unsteady, then there's a couple of things you can do. One, take the hand down for the support, or not reach quite so far over towards the right option. If that hand is hovering and you do not need the support, then arms can reach in opposite directions. And this is going to look different for every single one of us. So don't think that you have to copy my movement. Allow yourself the freedom to decide for yourself how this works for you best. And maybe it's every other one, maybe it's a completely different movement, maybe it's still with that support or just tilting over towards one side. One is not better than the other. We're just deciding, discerning for ourselves where we need to be today. Another two, rooting to rise. Last one, coming all the way back to center, rolling through the shoulders, and when you're ready, Heel toeing the legs in towards each other. Taking a breath in and exhaling it out. Come back to that so hum, to this moment. It brings us back to this moment. Notice the breath, the level of breath, the cadence of breath in and out through the nose if that's comfortable. And then within that so hum focus, is there anything else you're aware of? Your body, sensations in your body, inner knowings, your intuition telling you one thing or another. And from here, you can stay for as long as you like, or I'm gonna meet you down on the floor Take with you anything you need to for the rest of your practice. Maybe some blankets, a pillow, eye pillow, anything that serves you, and I'll see you on the floor. Here we are on the floor. We're gonna come all the way to our back. So take any extra softness you need, and if you like a pillow underneath your head, because that feels more comfortable for your shoulders and neck, go ahead and take what it is that suits you all the way down, readjusting yourself in your own way. Maybe picking up your pelvis and lengthening through the lower back, sometimes that feels good. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Feet are at a comfortable distance and we're coming back to the breath. So you can go ahead and soften your gaze, close your eyes, whatever feels comfortable, and start to steady the breath. Lengthening and steadying the breath in your own way. And then listening to the sound of that inhale and exhale. And then blending the mantra, so hum in with the breath. Noticing how you feel. And from there, I'm going to draw in the right knee. And this time I'm not going to marry you, I'll draw in my right knee. Give it a little hug. Hands can come to the thigh, behind the knee, in front of the shin, however it feels best for you. If 
from there, circling through the ankle, one direction. So, um, one circle to one cycle of breath. Be aware of everything that arises, and then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. So, hum. Coming back to a neutral ankle, and then allowing the hands to come to a comfortable place beside you, maybe beside your hips in a cactus or a T shoulder height. Coming back to the breath, and then on the inhale, so I'm going to send that foot up towards the sky. Knee can be bent, can be towards straight, it doesn't matter. That's the inhale. Exhale, curling the heel back, down, thigh comes towards the ribs, inhaling, reaching, and exhaling, curling down. Pushing through the heel, toes come back towards you. Inhaling and exhaling, just noticing how that feels. So hum. Soft flex in that ankle can sometimes feel like we have a little more control there, or easy ankle can release a lot of the tension in the back of the leg, so you get to decide what feels comfortable for you. One more. We'll bring the heel back. Mm -hmm. From here, the next inhale will shoot the heel away more at an angle. So maybe towards the angle of your left thigh. That's the inhale, exhale, curling it in. Inhaling and exhaling, that leg does not have to go anywhere near straight. Whatever suits you. Excellent place to be. And again, this is all coming, although we're moving through the hip, knee, and leg, this is all coming from the core. Option to stay here, option to come back to the heel, coming up closer towards the ceiling, or sending the heel to hover on just above the mat as you send the heel away from you. So hum, so as the extension hum is rolling back. Notice if you can slow down and steady the breath, listen to the sound of the breath, blend the mantra with the breath, with the movement. Got another three to go. So hum. And then when you're ready, bringing the right knee back in, giving it a little hug, and taking the foot down. Come back to the breath and noticing the subtle realignment of the body as we come down with both feet to the earth. When you're ready, left knee draws in, giving it a little hug, hands coming to anywhere on the leg that feels comfortable for you. So hum breath and we're circling through the ankle. Notice if slowing it down, steadying it out feels different for you here. And we'll go around in the opposite direction. When the movement is um, what we perceive as easy, we tend to speed it up. So notice how it feels to stay within the realm of that Soham breath. And I wasn't meaning that that was easy for everybody at all. Bringing, coming back into a neutral place, hands come down to wherever is a supportive place for you, shoulders rooted. This is the exhale and the inhale. We're sending the heel up towards the sky. Knee can be bent, 
or towards straight, it really doesn't matter. And again, if you push the heel up towards the sky, draw the toes back, that's going to awaken the back of that left leg a little more. If you keep that soft ankle, then it's going to feel maybe a little easier. You could play between the two and notice what feels best for you. Or if there's something else that works better. So, um, option to stay here, option to send that heel more at an angle, slightly away from you, so not up towards the sky. Option to stay here at any point, if it doesn't feel good in your body, make an adjustment, come back to a previous modification or another movement that suits you. Last option is to shoot the heel a little closer towards the earth. And keeping everything as steady as possible, the breath steady, the so hum steady, the focus steady while noticing everything that arises. Noticing the subtle adjustments in your body to accommodate for the movement. So hum. Two more. And then from here, drawing the knee back in, giving yourself a little hug. And when you're ready, resting the foot down on the floor, noticing once again the subtle reconnection downwards and the adjustment of the body. From here, drawing both knees in towards you, giving yourself a hug and rock and roll a little bit, a little movement, whatever feels good for you. And then we're drawing the knees up, maybe over the belly button, maybe over the hips, whatever feels good for you. And the heels can be down. Great place to stay right here. Arms are supporting you. And from here, we're gonna stretch one leg out a little longer as the knee comes in on the opposite. A little bit like um, dying bug, just allowing that to be as big or as small a movement as you like. The option is here to keep those knees coming in towards the chest or to stop them a little further away from you. And then you are starting to strengthen. Even that small adjustment is gonna make a big change with the effort that's being put in through the core of the body. So adjusting the movement and you'll know where you need to be because the breath so hum will still be accessible. Option to take those feet a little further, hovering towards the mat. And the further the knees are away from your upper body, the more challenging that's going to be. The last option is to add the arms. Inhaling and exhaling, the same arm is coming up as the knee is coming up on the same side. So here we are, full dying bug. If it feels better to have your hands down to support, then do that. So hum. This is a full engagement of this moment. Noticing what's happening in your body, what's happening with your breath, adjusting things as, as you need to. And again, you can bring the knees right in over the ribs, or you can s s keep the knees away. You got another three breaths here. So hum. Resting whenever you need to, of course. One more breath.
and bringing the knees in, giving yourself a little hug, rocking and rolling from side to side. Knees come wide. Heels can rest down by your seat. Again, any movement, you can rock and roll, you can just sway from side to side, great place to be, hands towards or on the knees. And then the option here is to take the feet up towards the floor, happy baby, up towards the floor, up towards the ceiling. Hands can rest on your legs, thighs, back of the knees, shins. If you want to, you can start to bring a dynamic tension in. So we're drawing the knees down towards the floor anyway. And then with the legs, we're pushing them up towards the sky. So there's this dynamic tension drawing the hands down, but then the feet are pushing up. Option to take the side of the feet if that's there for you. Option to take straps, tea towels, anything you have handy around the feet and you can connect in that way. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how this feels. So hum breath. Another couple of breaths. Anything else you need, you can always come out, come to a previous shape or something else that suits you. Staying for one last breath. The heels are up, they'll draw down. Release that tension as the knees come in. And then the feet coming down to support once more. Arms, again, in a place of comfort for you. And then we'll take the feet a little wider on the mat. So hum breath, soften the gaze, lower the gaze or close the eyes. Noticing the sound of your breath, the so hum blending with the sound of the breath. Option to stay here, we're going to start to gently sway the knees side to side. If you know another twist that feels better for you, then go ahead. This is just a soft, gentle twist through the spine, centering from the lower body so the shoulders are grounded. And the option here, especially if you have any SI joint issues, is you're staying here with the pelvis rooted to the floor moving one side to the other as much or as little as feels comfortable. And then the next option is to sway the knees a little further. The opposite hip may lift. I'm getting in through the deeper movements through the spine. Again, the shoulders and head are connected downwards and rooted. Option to send the knees to one side and stay there. Gaze can come to the opposite side if the both shoulders are rooted down. Noticing, readjusting things to feel good. You can always adjust one leg and not another if you need that um, top foot to root down more because that feels more stable through the pelvis. Go ahead. And then when you're ready, gaze comes back to center and the option to send the knees over towards the other side, this may feel very different. And again, maybe the top knee, you need to ground that foot so you're getting more external rotation through the bottom leg and less instability through the back of the pelvis. So hum breath, noticing everything, being honest with how this feels in your body and adjusting as you need to. As the gaze is off towards the side, we'll bring it to center and come back to center in your own time. From here, anything you need to finish off your practice, any kind of movement that arises for you, uh, or coming into relaxation, constructive rest, knees in towards each other, ankles wide, or anything else that suits you. So this is your time to get really comfortable. Any adjustments, any props you need under your body. If there's a more comfortable place for you to be, like a reclining chair, go ahead. And as you get yourself settled, 
I will come up. Take your time. Settling in. And when you're ready, take a big breath in all the way to the top of your breath. Hold for a beat. Relax the muscles, any tension, and exhale out softly. Three more of those, or take a breath in, hold at the top. Relax the muscles. Take another sip of breath in, all the way in. So, all the way in, hold again. Relax the muscles. And we're taking another sip of breath in. So, and it's gonna be tight this time, filling up with air. And then on the exhale, release it all. And on that exhale, release your body down to the support underneath you. Feel that support just like we did in the beginning. And notice what you need to do to completely surrender to that support. Notice if there's resistance, if there's thoughts that come up, there's discomfort in the body, you're not quite sure whether you want to let go of. And notice how much you're willing to release and let go. Notice habitual areas of tension that you're holding on to. And that intuitive sense of why. Is there an adjustment you can make, an extra pillow or a softness you can offer yourself that would allow that to be released? The breath is released entirely, so no focusing on making it longer or stronger or steadier. It's coming back to its own natural rhythm, your own natural rhythm. And as the breath settles, and you allow your body to settle as much as you feel is comfortable and safe for you. Releasing judgment, noticing only what you notice, what arises with compassion, with understanding, not needing it to be different. And then slide your awareness back into your soft breath, just as it is, no need to change anything. And notice the sound of the soft breath. Can you allow your breath to be just as it is? Notice if you can release just 1% more tension. So hum, sinking deeper and deeper into that exhale.
so hollow. Staying here for as long as you like. And if you wish to stay for longer, simply tune my voice out and my words, allow them to float over the top of you, not disturbing your peacefulness. For those who wish to finish their practice, start to simply notice the support underneath your body and all the different ways and textures. Starting to take a little deeper breath in on that so. Exhale, maybe out through the mouth, more like a sigh. And with those slightly longer breaths. In your own time and way, starting to move into soft, easy, lazy movements that feel good for you from your extremities, your toes, your fingers, maybe your head glides from side to side. Again, keep the movements luxurious, lazy, be gentle. Stretching wide or long, giving yourself a hug if that feels right to you. Staying exactly as you are, to finish up or making your way movement by movement into a place that you do want to finish your practice. And there's no right or wrong here. And wherever you are, bringing your hands into a gesture of closing, whatever that means for you. Taking a breath in a so. Hum, drawing your chin down towards your chest and just tuning in to that so hum, the sound of your breath, the sound of the mantra. It's a tool you can bring into your everyday world to bring you back to this moment. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.